Welcome to Christian Fitness. We have a beautiful show for you today, so get off of your couch. You don't need any equipment. We're just going to work out with just our bodies today. And today is a balance show, and the key to that is your core. So explain, what is the core? This is your core. Yeah, your core is pretty much from here to here. A lot of people talk about it just the stomach, but it's from your stomach down to your thighs. Okay, so balance show. Very simply, we're just going to start off with your right foot and just lift your left foot. Now, we always have beginner, intermediate, and advanced exercises. So beginners, just lift your toe and touch it down when you need to. Okay, it's all balanced. Intermediates, which you'll see Lori do, she's just going to hold it. We're going to switch legs at one minute. So just try to hold it for the full minute. Okay, beginners, if you lose balance, just touch your toe down, bring it back up. Advanced, a little more difficult, we're going to close our eyes. Now you may say, that doesn't sound advanced, <laughs> try it. <laughs> As a beginner or an intermediate, try closing your eyes. What that does is it throws off your equilibrium. You no longer have a horizon to be able to stabilize yourself. It's just darkness. It's a lot more difficult. Right. That's why I'm sorry. No, right about now, I was thinking about having a flamingo out here and how they sleep with, the, yeah. with their leg. <laughs> with their eyes shut, they're sleeping. Yeah, that's why a lot of people get seasick when they go out on boats, when they can't see the horizon or you can't see land any longer. You lose that equilibrium and you, you get ill. Good, so that's one minute. Let's switch sides. So left foot, beginners, just lift your toe. Try to balance for as long as you can. You know, when, when you wobble a little bit, go ahead and put your toe down. Intermediates, just hold it up. Or you look kind of like a flamingo with the leg <laughs> bent like <laughs> And that pink on, that's perfect. Oh, wow, I didn't even think about that. No. <laughs> and advanced, close your eyes. This is a great program. Do this on your off day. If you lifted yesterday or you worked out really hard, did a full body show, today we just want you to work on balance. It's not as much cardio, although there are some exercises we'll get to later in the show that they're really going to stretch you. They're, <laughs> you're going to be sweating by the end of this show. You think, oh, Robert, it's just a balance show. No, there's a lot to it. A lot of it's isometric. We do some exercises later on that are really going to push your muscle tone. Mm -hmm. You'll notice Lori and I hold our arms out just a little bit, try to help with that balance. And we're going to get into that in our fitness facts. minute break from that last exercise so I want you to enjoy some of the beautiful scenery that we have and we're gonna give you a few definitions about balance. What's our first one Lori? Well what is balance? Balance officially is the ability to maintain a position for a given period of time without moving. So how do you improve your balance? Working the core muscles improves balance and stability which helps to prevent injury and improves sports performance. Yes, yeah, so you said <laughs> you hold a position without moving. We're going to move a lot during this program, but we're still working on balance. And as you said, it works the core. It's going to really work this, this stomach area, everything from this midsection. Really work that for your balance. But as you said, so important. To, it prevents injuries, prevents falls. It's, it's very important for seniors especially. So get off the couch and join us today. Two. We're going to start getting a little more difficult. This round, we're just going to raise up on our toes. So beginners, just come up on both toes and try to hold it. You notice Laura and I hold our arms out a little bit. It helps us balance since it is a balance show. Intermediates, you want to stay up, I don't know, minute, two minutes, however long you can. Beginners, you may do five or ten seconds and then come down. Because if you aren't used to this, you'll feel the backs of your calves start to cramp. So five or ten seconds and then come down. Laurie's going to, you going to stay the whole two minutes? Try it. You know, I've gotten used to just staying up the whole time, so. Advanced, I want you to shift from single toe to single toe. So I'm just going to lift one foot, balance on that toe, you know, about, I don't know, four or five seconds until the wind blows me over. <laughs> then I'll switch back to the other side. Just come up on one toe, one tiptoe. Hold that for as long as I can, which wasn't very long that time. You know, while we were practicing the show, we never even figured in factoring the, the wind. <laughs> That's what I thought. Yeah, if we do it, since it is a balance show and we lose balance, we're going to blame it on the wind. <laughs> we don't have a nice controlled studio environment today. We're our home where we practice all our shows. And we're in the sand, which makes it a little more difficult. Yeah. So we have all kinds of excuses today. When you see us fall and wobble and everything else. But we just got out of that fitness fact, Lori, which was <laughs> we're not doing a very good job of that first definition. The definition of balance was to be able to hold a position without moving. For any yeah, period of given time, so that's right. That. But you talked about the core, and we're going to get into that later on. 
you know, we actually have some exercise ball shows where you really have to use that core to balance. Today we're just doing without the ball, using your tiptoes, using your feet, but you've really got to tighten this stomach and work your core. Yeah, this is one of my favorite shows. I just love that. Besides the fact that there's a beach behind us. Oh, that's what we thought. Just enjoy the scenery today. We see some beautiful footage out here at Fort Minnesota. Oh, we've got a one minute break. Let you relax a little bit. We want to get into the Word of God. Lori, what scripture did you choose for today? I chose John 16, 33. These things I have spoken to you that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. <laughs> well, Jesus said that we would have trials and tribulation, but in him that we should be of good cheer, that he's overcome the world. We're not of the world, that in him we should have peace and joy and not worry about things, that we should, greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world. So be of good cheer, walk in peace that he's given us, that the Holy Spirit abides in us. Praise God for that. Amen. Yeah, be in peace. three. We're going to start to get a little more difficult as we progress through the rounds. This is going to be what we call a side squat. We just want to hold our left leg out. For beginners, you know, you can touch your toes down when you lose balance, but try to hold it as long as you can. Intermediates, you can see Lori's already started. I want you to bend this thigh a little bit and get a little bit lower and hold that as long as you can. Advanced, leg a little bit higher, thigh a little bit lower. Remember we talked about in the opening that you're going to use some isometric today. It's not just balance, a lot of isometric. So my thigh is going to be screaming. I'm going to be waiting for that clock to hit one minute and then we'll switch sides. But stay as long as you can. All about balance today. You know, it's interesting. Rob puts his hands out here so he can focus on his core here. And I like my hands out here. It's easier for me to balance. We're still balancing. Well, I put them here too, so if I need to pray before that minute comes, I can <laughs> I'm already in position. Help us. I love that scripture. Good. We'll switch. So beginners, just touch your toe down. We'll do put the right leg out. Balance. Yeah, you might want to put your arms out, put them in front, whatever's comfortable for you. Intermediates, you're excellent, Lori. Hold it as long as you can. Advance, go a little bit lower, leg a little bit higher. Don't you love that scripture? Absolutely. Yeah, the new tribulation. Yep. And I think that's something important for new Christians. Just because you gave your life to the Lord, you accepted Jesus into your heart, you're still going to have trials and tribulations. Things are going to come against you. Everything isn't perfect. But when you face those trials and tribulations, you look to Him. That's right. Be of good cheer, knowing that He overcame the world for us. Right. We're overcomers. Without Him, people to face those tribulations, panic, they don't know what to do, they have no hope. Jesus is your hope. That's right. We have a pastor at church that says, just put your cares in your hands and throw them up here. That's right. In our fitness facts today, we're giving you some definitions on balance. What's our second one, Lori? There are two definitions that we want to cover to explain balance. They're the center of gravity and the base of support. The center of gravity is the point of the exact center of which the body freely rotates. Also, the point around which the body weight is equal on all sides. Base of support is the area of contact between the body and the supporting surface. Yeah, so you talk about that equal balance, equal mm -hmm. weight for that center of gravity. You'll see a lot of these exercises we do today. We have our arms spread out. We have all kinds of different things going on to keep that center of gravity right over the middle, wherever your base of support is. If it's one leg, just over that one foot. And you think of tightrope walkers. A lot right. of times, you know, you'll see them walking over Niagara Falls and they have a really long pull. That's to distribute that weight equally over that center of gravity. Round four, we're gonna call this a leg behind. So beginners, let's start on the right leg. And you just reach your left, uh, left leg a little bit behind you. And once again, you touch your toe when you start to lose balance. Intermediates, Lori already showing you, she's gonna lift a little bit higher. And once again, touch your toe down whenever you lose balance. Advanced, I like to try to go parallel to the ground. Get your leg up as high as you can. And what you wanna do is bend this other leg. Try to keep balance while I talk and demonstrate. <laughs> But you bend that other leg, give them a little more flexibility. Okay, you're just going to hold this for a minute. 
and in one minute we'll switch sides. This is where coming out of that Fitness Fact Center of Gravity and Basic Support is so important. Right, so notice I'm leaning forward to counterbalance the weight of my leg. Exactly. So the center of gravity is right over my post leg, which would be this right leg. This is our post leg. And your center of gravity is your core. Correct? You want to keep that switch legs? That's one minute. Yeah, you want to keep your center of gravity and control it with your core. So beginners, you can stand up straight and just lift your right leg a little bit. Intermediates, you can see Lori's a little bit. She's flying a little bit lower. <laughs> and then advance, I want you guys to get down parallel to the ground. You get that right leg up as high as you can. Arch your back a little bit. And we also talked about the base of support. Right now, our base is just the bottom of your foot. You remember that round two, we went up on our tiptoes, which would have just been the ball of your foot. A lot smaller base of support, more difficult. So the larger your base of support and the wider your base of support, the more balance you're going to have. Think of a pyramid, how wide the base of support on that is. Great balance on a pyramid. We're unfortunately inverting the pyramid right now. The key to living a healthier life is not overeating, and you can do that by controlling your portion sizes. Yeah, start with the size of your plate. It only needs to be about 8 inches around, not 10, 12, or 14. Research has proven that most people will eat as much food as you place in front of them, so use a realistic size plate. Yeah, the first thing you want to do is divide your plate in half. Half of that plate should be all fruits and vegetables. That normally equals about two cups, one cup of fruit and one cup of vegetables. Then you want to take that other half, divide it into half, so you have two quarters. One quarter is going to be whole grains and the other quarter protein. Your protein should be fish or skinless chicken or even beans. But it's only a quarter of the plate, so make sure it fits into that little closet. Our nutrition tip today, portion size your plate. Round five. Let's do the opposite of what we did last time. We're going to do leg in front. So beginners, just lift your leg out in front. You touch your toe down when you lose balance. Intermediates, you see Lori's going to just hold it and get a little bit higher. And you notice she bends that back leg. That really helps with your balance quite a bit to bend the back leg. Advanced, go a little bit higher. And the key to this one, now we talked about core in the opening. This is where you use your core. Oh, when yeah. you lean back like this, you've got to use the core. Tighten that stomach to create this counterbalance over your center of gravity. Okay, so lay back as far as you can. <laughs> Boy, this wind is wreaking havoc on <laughs> I think that's why I'm laughing. <laughs> we didn't factor that in when we practiced this show. We would have so much wind. And yeah, we hope you're enjoying today's show. We thought we'd bring you some beautiful scenery. So we thank the Film Commission and, of course, Fort DeSoto and the parks and the rangers and everyone for allowing us to come out here and shoot today. Good, let's switch, one minute. For beginners, just right foot, tap it down. Intermediates, a little higher. Advanced, as high as you can, and really lean back and tighten that core. Yeah, Fort DeSoto, gorgeous place for it shooting is. today. Over 1,100 acres. And this was voted the most. One of America's most beautiful beaches, the right. North Beach, just Thank you. <laughs> right behind us there. Did you just stop and turn around? Well, that's my excuse when I fall. I can act like I'm actually doing something else. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. I'll fall over. <laughs> yeah, it's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful park. We just wanted to come out and enjoy some of the beauty that God has created. Enjoy nature. So grateful to be able to come out and do these remote shoots. We love these. for you to visit our website and that's christianfitnesstv.com and that's where we get our feedback and a lot of other things you can do on there but there's a little link click on that and send us your feedback and we've got some for today's show Lori share today's feedback with you yeah one of our viewers said hi guys first thank you for your program just last week I was asking my husband to help me get motivated once again with my exercises he was so willing to do so but because of his jobs it wasn't working out 
and then I just stumbled across your program while surfing. What a blessing. I've been working out with you guys ever since. God always provides. What a mighty God we serve. Blessings, Maria. We just love hearing from her. I mean, thank you, Maria, for sending us your email. And yes, we do serve a mighty God. And he always provides. Yes, he does. Amen. Round six, we're gonna go ahead and get down on all fours for this one. On your knees and your palms. <laughs> Beginners, I just want you to put your left leg straight behind you and then lift your right hand. You know, lift it for a, you know, a couple inches. When you lose balance, put it back down. You can see Lori's already started the intermediate. Intermediates are gonna point it straight out. Advanced, a little more difficult. We talked about the base of support earlier. You see how wide my base of support is? This will be for an intermediate. For advanced, I want you to put your base of support a little smaller. So your hand goes back closer to your knee. So now I've got to balance a little more than, let's say, an intermediate. I feel Base of support much smaller now. I'm sorry. I feel like a pointer dog. <laughs> yeah, you see a quail in the bush over there, honey? A seagull <laughs> over there, look. <laughs> yeah, it is so pretty out here. The sea oats and the birds. And, oh, it's just gorgeous out here. Helps take some of the pain away from holding some of these poses. A little warm. Yeah, one minute we switch sides, so there you go. Go ahead and switch to the other side. <laughs> Beginners, just put your right leg straight out and just lift this hand till you feel balanced. And you can hang it right here in case you lose balance and put it down real quick. <laughs> Intermediates, you see Lori's got that nice pointer <laughs> position. In advance, you're going to put your base of support a little smaller. Make it a narrower base of support. Oh, we appreciate that feedback that we just came out of so much, the viewer feedback. Oh, that was so wonderful. Really I love that. Us. Yeah. Seeing what a mighty God we serve. Absolutely. And yes, we do. We talked about that in the opening. You just in our scripture, you just gotta look up to him. That's exactly Rely right. on him. Not look at the circumstances of anything, because we walk in victory. Yeah, and if you read the end of the book, we win. So Absolutely. Really, you know, let's worry about it. We win in the end. It's time for us to get back into some scripture. And Lori, you shared John with us earlier. This time we're going to look at the Amplified Version, which I really love it in this scripture. I have told you these things so that in me you may have perfect peace and confidence. In the world, you have tribulation and trials and distresses and frustration, but be of good cheer. Take courage, be confident, certain, undaunted, for I have overcome the world. I have deprived it of power to harm you and have conquered it for you. He has conquered the world for you. So know that you have undaunted power through Christ Jesus for you. Isn't that an awesome thing? Know that you can't be harmed through Christ Jesus. Round seven, only three left. Hang in with us. This round, go ahead and have a seat. We're gonna call this a V sit up, and then you hold it. So a V hold. So beginners, just put your hands next to your back pocket, straighten your legs and just lift and hold them. You can hold them, you know, three, four, five seconds, whatever you can. Then you put them down and rest. Up, three, four, five. Put them down. Intermediates, go ahead and try to balance on your back pocket. You can Are hold you your arms out. you saying I'm an intermediate on this one? You're an intermediate, <laughs> or hold them forward. Oh yeah. You know, four or five seconds, whatever you're comfortable with. You can with. do this. You can hold under here if you have to. Mm -hmm. you know, do 10 seconds, let's say, and then put them down. Advanced, just hold it here the rest of the time. I hope I wasted enough time so I don't have to do it for the full two minutes. <laughs> And then you can experiment with this. You can go a little higher with your legs, higher with your upper body. Hold that. You can go lower. Hold that. And we talked about the core in the opening. You can feel it. Okay. <laughs> this I is like your core. That. Really tight in your stomach. I like going up higher. Like going up higher? Yeah. I like that. And this is where we can use that scripture being what being in victory and being confident. Absolutely. Having undaunted, undaunted victory and not having, not wavering and knowing that we can be in of good courage. Whew. Yeah, because this is a trial and a world. tribulation for your stomach <laughs> and your thighs. I'm going through a trial right now, so 
I'm just going to think about that scripture, think upon the Lord, all the blessings He's given me in my life, and just ignore the pain right now. Push through it. Just enjoy the, oh, this, ah, Fort DeSoto, beautiful park. If you're ever in Florida, anywhere near the West Coast, come out here. Fort DeSoto, it's on the West Coast, right out in the mouth of Tampa Bay. Just gorgeous out here. We just got a countdown. You, okay? You, you sneak a peek <laughs> the clock, didn't you? I did. Our final fitness fact for today, balance. Lori, why is it so important? Well, it's great for all sports, but especially as we age, our risk of falling increases. Individuals over the age of 65, 30% experience at least one fall per year. The number increases to 50% for those over the age of 75. There are other factors that affect falling like medication use, muscle weakness, impaired vision, and obesity. Our advice, regular exercise improves muscle strength and flexibility and has a positive effect on the central nervous system functions. Yeah, so we encourage you to do all of our programs, whether it's strength training or flexibility, and then today we're working on your balance. It's just going to give your body, make your body overall stronger, and you have a lot better balance, and it decreases some of the risks of falling. Round eight. If you haven't got off of your couch yet, get up. This one is simple. <laughs> Actually, it's most difficult, but it's easy to, <laughs> to try. This is going to be just a heel balance. So beginners, just lift your toes up for a count of, I don't know, one, two, three, whatever you can. Try to balance on your heels. I know it looks simple, but get off your couch and try it, because it is not. This is extremely difficult. Intermediates, you know, hold it for four or five seconds. Come down. Advanced, try to hold it as long as you can for the whole two minutes if you can. A couple tricks, or tips, I should say, a couple tips for you. If you start to lose balance, as Lori did, you know, use your arms, you can do whatever you need. I like to just take a step or two. Okay, so when I lose balance, I'm just going to step, and try to get back, control myself, step, <laughs> walk around on your heels. You know what's fun about this? You see kids do this all yes. the time, right? Little kids walk around like this, goofing off. This is great, especially for women that wear high heels and they're constantly, you know, having their calves flexed. This is great for the front of the shin. Yep. Look how the Lord will put it on children's hearts to do things that are naturally good for them. This is one of those. Yeah, try not to walk the whole time like I am. <laughs> you hold it every once in a Whoa. while to try to balance. Okay, our last tip. If you have a partner, you guys can hold hands. Don't pull on me. <laughs> <laughs> try not to pull each other over. But this way you can balance a little. If you're at your house, you know, reach over, grab the couch, back of a chair, an ottoman, edge of your TV stand, your child's head, whatever. <laughs> whatever's handy. And that helps you balance quite a bit. Now look, we stayed up, what, 10, 15 seconds now? Yeah, we had so much fun doing this at the house. Yeah, you'll start to feel it in the front. It'll start to cramp. If it does, just stop, relax for a second, and then come back up. And he's so strong when we were practicing this at home. He pulled me over. <laughs> and this is a great one if you're out here at the beach, you get a sand spur, you have to walk to the car on your heels, you'll be ready for it. you to visit us on our website, which is ChristianFitnessTV.com. That's where we get our viewer feedback that we read and just a lot of really, really neat things on there, a lot of videos. Yeah, we get great emails. That's how you email us. And we have Facebook and Twitter. Visit us on Facebook. Become our friends on Facebook. That's how we communicate with you. Yeah, we'll let you know what sheets are coming up, what projects we're working on, and it's a good way to communicate with us. But also, you know what? Go online, use the internet, find Fort yeah. DeSoto Park, where we are today. You can see the huge cannon behind us, but it's just an incredible fort here. Yeah, we love it here. Round nine, we're gonna do a variation on an earlier round. I want you to reach out to the side. We're gonna start with the left leg and we'll switch it one minute. And this time I want you to reach out to the right. Okay, before we just lifted the leg. Yeah, right or left, <laughs> whatever, whatever works for you. Okay, reach out. So beginners, once again, just touch the toe down when you lose balance. Intermediates, you see Lori's a little bit higher. Advanced, you can. I want you to go up parallel to the ground. 
I like to actually keep this arm just on that leg. I don't know why, it just helps. You can hang it in front, you can reach both this way if you want. I like to just hang it on this leg. We'll try to get parallel to the ground, and then in one minute, we'll switch sides. I looked over at your leg and almost fell over. <laughs> Yeah, one of the keys is to find a spot. I mean, That's ballerinas right. do it, ice skaters do it. You find a single spot and just focus on that. And that'll help you with that horizon and help you with the balance. We talked about that earlier, when you close your eyes. Yeah, try this one with closing your eyes. I'm not even gonna try because I'll fall in the sand. Yeah, we keep finding out that everywhere, there are little stickers all over the place. Yeah, good, let's switch, other side. So beginners, reach to the left, just touch down. Intermediate, you see Lori's a little bit higher. Advanced. We're going to come up parallel to the ground. Get the sand shifted, get a good stable base, which we talked about earlier. The base of support. This is great if you're rehabbing an ankle, rehabbing a knee. You notice how much my left leg is shaking, and probably because all the knee surgery is on that leg. I was just thinking about that because my left, I'm right handed, so my left leg is not as strong as my right. Yeah, same here, a couple knee reconstructions and it tends to weaken that. This is great to strengthen. All those little tiny flexor muscles. Seagulls are visiting us, Rob. Uh-oh. <laughs> Do we need to beware? I think they think we have food. your peace. Pray this prayer with me. Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Forgive me of my sins. Wash me. Cleanse me. Thank you that you died on the cross for me. Thank you that you're coming back for me. In Jesus' name, amen. If you prayed that prayer with us, please call us or email us. Let us know, but more importantly, tell a family member, tell your friends. That's so important to be a witness for Jesus Christ. Amen. Just live in that victory. That scripture we talked about today, just live in that victory. Thank you so much for joining us. We always close with 3 John 1, 2. Beloved, I pray that in all respects you may prosper and be in good health just as your soul prospers. So thank you so much for joining us. God bless you. We love you guys. What is balance? Okay, sorry. <laughs> Try that again. I... <laughs> wow! Ow! Woo! Oh. Oh. oh! Hallelujah. Well, you know Let's why see. he said whole wheat? Grain. Because we the had. Just revoice it. Yeah. Because we had. <laughs> <laughs>